Look at that. Oh man. Right here at daylight. My third cast. I think this is a big jack. And that's what we're after. Jack Cravel. That's a big bull red right there. This is the size of this fish. Hey everybody, we're out here fishing right now with Super Spook Junior topwater plugs. Got a nice trout on right here. Big old Jack Cravel. Fishing near the Port O'Connor jetties, but these jacks, you can find them just about anywhere along the Gulf Coast, from Sabine to Galveston to Port O'Connor, Port Mansfield. The water temperature right now is about 85 degrees. Look at that fish go. We're using a shallow diving crankbait here. It's a bomber wind cheater. Goes down about two to three feet. It's the larger one, about seven inches long, and you can cast it a country mile. The jacks are pretty, pretty crazy. These are feeding on the surface out here right now. They'll come up and blast into a pot of menhaden. You just gotta keep moving around. Use your binoculars and have a rod handy when they come up, put it on them and start cranking. This one is tough right here. All right, I gotta go to the back of the boat now. But Jack Cravel is just about 100% muscle. They get sideways in the current. You just can't hardly move them. You gotta really crank down on the drag and work them in. They look like a big permit, but they're a lot of fun to catch. And for the, from June, July and August, they are everywhere in the bays and in the surf, range anywhere from five pounds on up to 25 and 30 pounds. When they're feeding on the surface like that, you can use poppers, just about anything to get their attention. A popper out there, they will, when they hit the bait, hit the lure, it is like a meteorite coming out of the sky and falling into the water. And if you'll notice right here, I'm not using a, a fighting belt. What I'm doing is using my left elbow has leverage on it. And then coming up here and just pulling it up, trying to wear that fish down. Usually by the time you get a big jack to the boat, or a red for that matter, they're worn out and easy to, to uh, get into a net or lip gaff. If you don't put a lot of pressure on these fish, they will just keep going deep, coming up, going deep, and using the tide in their favor. Here it comes right there, big old, look at that. Holy moly. That's a good looking Jack Cravel right there. It's called a Texas Yellowfin Tuna. That being a joke. Here it is right there. Wow. Man. Whew. That'll whip a grown man down to his knees. That's crazy, but fun. <laughs> this is that bomber wind cheater I was telling you about about seven inches long. You can throw this lure a country mile and reel it down one or two feet. It looks just like the menhaden slipping through here. Look at this, baby. Yeah. Big old Jack Cravel. That's a fine fish right there. You can't eat them, but they're fun to catch and they'll hit top waters like there ain't no tomorrow. I'm just gonna shove it straight down in the water, torpedo style. There it goes, adios. Look at all the birds, holy cow. There are so many birds out here, seagulls, pelicans. This is a wind cheater made by Bomber, seven inches long, and it dives down just like that, anywhere from one to two feet. It's an excellent lure, it's called a wind cheater because you can throw it a country mile with the wind at your back. Man, the key out here to finding these jacks on the surface is to use a good pair of binoculars and just watch the birds. The birds will lead you to the fish because the fish are down there and they will push the menhaden up to the surface and when they start busting the surface the birds will come over there go to the birds and the fish will be under them throw your lure out there and there's one right now let's go over there let's make a run right quick here we go hang on got a bunch of feeding jacks right out here lots of gulls pelicans working over them we're going to catch a jack here shortly long cast right there let me get set up for another cast right here. If you'll watch this, I've got about 
up on the rod tip, I've got about uh, 18 inches of monofilament hanging down. That's just enough to give me some leverage to cast this bait. And what I'm doing, I'm sitting here with my thumb on the spool. It's ready to go. Got the button pushed in. Watch my hands. I'm just going to catapult it out. That's going way on out there. That's how it's done right there. And I like to pop it when I have room down closer to the water with a rod tip. Or you can do something like this if you have several people in the boat and don't want to whack each other with the rod tip. The ticket is not to wear yourself out. You cannot cast one of these big topwater lures one-handed like this. It'll uh, wear your arm out. Catapult it like this and select your cast. You just can't make random casts like your bass fishing because this, this is, is sort of like heavy tackle. It'll wear you down. When they're on the service, just get it close to them and start working it aggressively just like a wounded bait fish on the water. If y'all can see these birds off the stern of the boat, this is what we're looking for. We're kind of following the birds. They're on the bait fish and the jacks are right below them. Oh yeah. Feeding on the little shed right under those birds. You can tell by looking at this little jack right here, it's about the size of a football. And this, this seven inch lure is about half the size of this fish. Look at that fish. It almost looks like a pompano, but it's a Jack Crevel. There you go. One more. Nice fish right there. Easy to catch. That Jack fish right there, they're, uh, they're in big schools out here and they're feeding on little bitty menhaden about this big and schools of shad. And you can see them come up, they'll be right under the birds. And when you get up there, like that time, we drifted right into them. And you can see the, the big jacks on the outside of the birds and the little jacks in there under the birds. It was an easy hookup right there. Let's go catch another one. They are just ripping into this wind cheater in blue and silver. I think it's a lot more fun to catch the smaller ones than the giant ones like we were catching a little while earlier. Those 25, 30 pounders will wear you down. Look at this one, beautiful fish. Here we go, one more Jack Crevel. Calm down, buddy, we're gonna let you go. Calm down. Thank you. The perfect size Jack to catch. Great on light tackle. Even this big uh, wind cheater lure I was throwing there. Catching these fish under the birds out here. Hope you learned a lot today. We're out here fishing for Jack Crevel. Started out with like a 25, 30 pounder and uh, started following the birds, catching these smaller guys like this. They're feeding on shad under the birds. It's all summer long up and down the Texas coast. We were catching these jacks, started out catching them on shallow diving crankbaits like the bomber wind cheater. And uh, you can catch these fish all day long like this. The best thing to do is to fish at the mouth of the jetties or inside on the bay on an, uh, look at that, there's one right there to just rip the surface on an incoming tide. That's when all the bait moves in. Can we go let this one go? I'm Captain Robert Sloan. See you soon.